So we have a fun potential new rule that could come out. There's, you know, all of these proposals for new rules. I think some of them are more interesting than others, but this one really caught my eye. It's It makes a lot of sense, but I just figured it's, it's kind of fun, mostly because it's named after a player. It would be called the Tom Brady rule. And it's actually kind of minor, but here's how it would work. I'm getting all this information from a CBS article. So it's written by John Breach you know, credit where credit's due. It's this article, so feel free to read it yourself. It's a, you know, very short read, so you can do that if you want. But basically, I need to show this play, because if you remember this play, you're going to see Tom Brady, he throws the ball, gets batted back to him, and he throws it to Mike Evans again. So you can't do that. That's a penalty. Everyone knows it. And we'll show the other angle. This is obviously a penalty, and, you know, everyone knows it. So what's the big deal? Why would they need to change this rule? Well, if you remember, there was actually something very interesting about this rule. So on that play, it was a third down and 10. Mike Evans gained eight yards, and so it's fourth down and two. But if LA wants to you know, get the penalty yardage, then they have to accept the penalty, which isn't a loss of down. It's five yards, but Tampa Bay would have a third down and 15. So the Rams had to choose, do they give Tampa Bay a fourth down and two at around a 40-yard line, or do they you know, not do that. Do they accept the penalty? But now it's third down and 15. Tampa Bay gets another shot. And all of this because, you know, Tom Brady threw the ball a second time, which he shouldn't be allowed to do. So it's very interesting. Another interesting little factor about this is Mike Evans. You know, he has this incredible 1,000 yard season uh, per season streak where he's been able to stay healthy and stay on the field, relatively speaking, to get 1,000 yards in all of his seven seasons in the NFL, which is crazy. But this season, he had 1,006 yards. So if he didn't get the credit for these eight yards, he would have actually had under 1,000. And if you remember, right after he broke the record, he got injured immediately after and missed the rest of week 17. So he probably would have been stuck at 998, maybe. I mean, maybe they would have found ways to get him more yards. I don't know. But still, that's that's pretty funny, I think, and pretty interesting. Back to the article, under the Rams' proposed rule, teams will lose a down if they throw a second pass from behind the line of scrimmage or if they throw a pass from behind the line of scrimmage after the ball has already crossed the line of scrimmage. So basically, it would mean that if you accept the penalty, it's a loss of down and five yards. So instead of third down and 15, it would have been fourth down and 15. And that just makes sense. I mean, this is the same punishment that happens when you have an illegal forward pass when you're past the line of scrimmage so it, I, that just logically i think follows the article also states if this rule gets voted through we can go ahead and call it the tom brady rule which is fun i think because rams would have never proposed it if brady hadn't done it against them uh, and so that's sort of how that works. I think it's very interesting. So yeah, not exactly the biggest piece of news you'll ever see, but you know what? Little piece of fun news. It's the off season, not a ton to talk about. Figured to make a video letting you guys know about that. Uh, just a little interesting thing. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.